We are going to make our needle felted pumpkin to go with our pumpkin fairy or if you ordered a witch kit also to go with your witch. So just grab a little bit of your core wool. Now if for whatever reason you don't have any left over that's fine you can do this all out of the orange roving. That would work too. So if you can just like roll it. Let me fold this better. Okay. So I'm actually going to roll it long ways. And then take the end and you're going to want to roll it as tightly as you can and kind of tucking it in as you roll. The tighter the better. Okay. Oops, I have a little purple in there. Okay. So we've got this pretty tight. Oops, except for that part there. Great. <laughs> All right, it's okay. We're just going to, whoops, wrap that around tightly. It's all good. Okay, so on your felting mat, this mess will become a ball that will be a pumpkin. Okay, so just go ahead and start needling down and remember to use caution. Alright, so now I'm just going to put it up on its end like this and I'm going to felt down. You don't need to put the needle all the way in because the barbs only go up to about here. So keep that in mind. I'm just going to kind of smush it. Being mindful of my finger there. Okay, rotate. Keep it smushed. Mindful of my finger. it to the other end and again I'm going to smush rotate Okay, now that I've got it kind of compacted, I'm going to kind of do that so that I can see where it really still needs work, so. So we still need to get it around. So what we're going to do is just push it down like this and then we're going to keep going like that. And we're going to condense it down.
can see it's starting to look a bit rounder. So I think that this area right here looks a little bit funny. So I'm just going to go ahead and just felt that bit more rounded. Now you just want kind of a uniform pumpkin-y shape. It doesn't have to be perfect because this is going to get covered up with the orange roving. And you have to remember pumpkins are not perfectly round. They come, you know, in all shapes and sizes in the round oval department. Some are actually quite funny looking. Okay. Alright, so now I'm going to take some of the orange roving. And I'm going to come over at the end there. And roll. Like that. Go ahead and tack it on. Burning that over on the top. Okay, so I've got it pretty much attached on the top there. I'm just going to go around. the same thing here where I'm just going to go around a little bit and like tack it
All right, so you can see it's tacked on there. So now I just have to finish sculpting so it looks more pumpkin-y. Roll it in my hand so I can see how we're looking here. Okay, so there's like a bulge here I'm not a fan of, so I'm just gonna scope that a little bit more. a little bit bumpy and messy so I'm just gonna fix that So in case you're wondering what difference it would make if you used uh, wool batting instead of wool uh, roving, here is the one with batting and then here's the one with roving. It's a little bit of a different texture with the batting, but either one obviously works. Okay, so at this point <clears throat> you can um, take some of, if you've saved any of your brown hair from your pumpkin fairy and you don't need a lot if you just take like some really really teeny I'm actually gonna pull it like that you just need some really teeny 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 amounts let me see I'm gonna roll this in my fingers you can see like it's a really teeny amount okay and then if you that'll give you the lines on your pumpkin. So you would literally just stick it. It's really hard to felt just that tiny bit, but anyway, so you would stick it and then bring it back up and over. I'll use that piece in a second. All right, anyway, so you would put it on your pumpkin like that and then felt it in at the top and at the bottom. Okay, and then you can kind of lightly grab it or even kind of go like that and that'll 
further, take it in. And then you can go to the other side, you know, do this several times kind of thing to give you the lines on your pumpkin. Okay. So I'm going to try to wrap my needle around it a little bit. Not super easy to do this, just going to forewarn you. Okay. got two lines there and then what you can do like I said is go ahead and kind of tack them in a little bit to give you that definition of the ridges in the pumpkin Now if you don't want to use the brown, what you can do is just take your needle and just make some shallow repetitive lines straight down. <coughs> Excuse me. Um to give you also the ridge. So totally up to you if you want to do the brown or not. Either way, and then you can then bisect that again to give yourself that definition. So you can see that I've got the ridges there from just needle felting them. Okay, now also just take a little bit of brown, all right, and fold it, and fold it, and fold it, and you're going to roll it together and fold it, and then you're going to be able to get a stem. which I'm actually going to put up here, I think. Okay. Well, I've got enough of a stem that I can... I felt it. In. And then I can just put this here. taller than I want so I'm just gonna felt it down some more okay. and then rub it between perfect I care let me there you go you can see that okay and then that is how you get your pumpkin your pumpkin fairy.